Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. As you may notice that I'm wearing these headphones because I just want to make sure that the quality of the audio for the pronunciation is clear and conditioned to suit your ears in a way that is conducive to better listening practice and experience. I'm using these headphones to hear what I am saying to avoid using the ums and hums of my speech. Plus, it gives me a better quality. Today, we continue reading. At this moment, we continue reading uh, the passage or this short story that we have left from our last meeting. We start by saying it disappeared into the hole. And the word disappeared means اختفت. Usually the word is pronounced most of the time as one variation, except for very slight minor sub-variations of the pronunciation. So the word is disappear or disappear, which I love to say more. So the word actually is to disappear. The word is disappear, disappear. Okay, so disappeared is the past tense of the verb disappear, disappeared, disappeared. And it's a, it has, well, three parts. The first part is the dis, which is, negates the appearance of the verb. It's a prefix. We call it prefix. What is a prefix? A prefix is, um, um, if we put it down here, um, and then <clears throat> it's a word, a letter, or number placed before another or before another, added the prefix. Or it's an element at the beginning of a word to adjust or qualify its meaning, like X, X president. We can go into the narrative of the meaning of uh, the word this. But the case to be made here is very simple. We're just reading the word disappear. Oh, let, me just, let me just leave it there because it's a very useful word. So the word is disappear. So it's disappeared into. Now the word into is very interesting preposition in English. Into means it's a preposition and it's expressing the movement and the settlement. So it expresses the movement or inaction with the result that someone or something becomes enclosed or surrounded by something else. For example, cover the bowl and put it into the fridge. So it describes the process and the settlement. That's the meaning of this preposition, in case you may wonder uh, about its meaning. But there was no sound as, as it landed. Now, the word landed has so many meanings. Let's start with the word as a noun. And a noun it means ard, yabisa, or bar. Um, and also, it can be used as a verb. So it can be used as a noun, depending on the context, and it can be used as a verb. The context determines whether it's a noun or it's a verb. Very common. Uh, the boot was gone. The boot was gone. Look here, the boot was gone. I'm stressing the word gone. I'm not stressing the word was, which is an auxiliary verb. So I'm saying was, was was. I'm not saying was gone, because that is not going to give you the accentuated American or British pronunciation, which is um, standard or substandard and according to what people believe they are. So it was, it was just one more thing. The boot was gone. It was just one more thing that she had just, that she had lost. It was one it was just one, look, it was just one, just, not just one. It was just one more thing, thing. Uh, the word thing, you may notice here that this 
sound is not very common actually um, in Arabic. And because it's not common, we tend not to say it exactly the way we expect native speakers or people who speak English to say it. Um, we say it like thing, thing, something, ng. It's not ing. That's completely different sound. Sonically speaking, it's thing. So it's not stressed G and it's not just light N or N. So it's thing. It's something in between that she had, that she had lost by being stupid. Now, the word by, it's another preposition, but being stupid, um, maybe some people might wonder why we are using being stupid. Being, now, the verb to be is one of the most confused auxiliary and main verbs in English. And I try to understand why, because it's like tomato. <laughs> it's a kind of vegetable that is so commonplace that everybody is eating. And it's used everywhere. I might dedicate an episode to talk about it. But generally speaking, uh, being means at this moment. Uh, at the moment of speaking. Also, it's a noun, like a human being. Human being. But if it occurs as a verb, it has a slight different meaning here. So it's not talking about the person, but the act of being present as a person. At this moment, I just wanted to wrap up the point and make these episodes short enough for you to listen to and not long enough to bore you. So it's in between, we have to balance, we have to strike a balance of being short to the point, and I'm shooting for brevity. I know that uh, these kind of podcasts should be longer, but within the context of Iraq and Middle East, people are, tend to be very busy and they can't listen to many hours uh, because they have family commitments and, you know, these kind of things. So we're trying just to make it shorter enough for people to listen to and benefit from. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you in another episode.